After more than three decades of partnership, the city of Pelham could run the risk of losing the Oak Mountain Amphitheater if Live Nation decides to take their business to Birmingham. The company who manages the amphitheater, Live Nation, typically does leases for terms of five to 25 years for venues. Now, the specifics of this deal between Live Nation and the city of Pelham are not available, but we do know that they plan to book concerts at Moak Mountain Amphitheater through next year. But for the 2024 concert season, there's a chance it will not be in Pelham. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell has been reaching out to the city throughout the day. Valerie, what have they told you? Brenda and Stephen, we have more questions for the city of Pelham about the amphitheater and the investments that the city is making around this area. Now I've stopped in, I've called, I've texted, and I've emailed the city to try to learn more. And right now I'm told that they're not saying anything further than the statement they gave us earlier this week. Surprised, that's the word the city of Pelham used to describe the proposal of losing Oak Mountain Amphitheater. I spoke with the, the mayor of Pelham and uh, I did, I was not aware that he, that he did not know that and we, we had a very good conversation. Michael Ellis has been to at least 10 concerts in Pelham. I like it right down the road, you know, it's, I, can say it's, I can say it's convenient. He says if the amphitheater moves to Birmingham, he'll still attend. If I won't go to the concert, I'm going to go to the concert. <laughs> We know earlier this week, council passed a project to make improvements to Amphitheater Road. Additionally, the canopy project across the street is being developed for $60 million. Thursday, County Commissioner LaShonda Scales pointed out that in itself creates concerns regarding the regional non-poaching agreement. Anytime a city decides that they are going to make an investment, that investment also has to pay off. And, and right now, it seems as though that particular city doesn't see a return on their investment. Uh, and I think we need to look at that. But adding an amphitheater to downtown Birmingham wasn't a new idea. Although commissioners tell us Live Nation reached out to them with the proposal first. We reached out to Live Nation asking for them to confirm, but we haven't heard back. You know, we've been talking about an amphitheater in that area three or four years. We haven't heard anything about it until recently. And this is a little bit caught us off, off guard too at the convention bureau. But in order for the project to move forward, there has to be an initial agreement between the BJCC and the Convention and Visitors Bureau. The executive director of the BJCC tells us Wednesday. But it's going to be really exciting to pursue it and look at what that type of venue could add to the area around the BJCC. There will be a Convention and Visitors Bureau meeting on Monday. We will be there and we'll give you an update with what happens then. Live in Pelham, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.